I'm with Aslan from Sportspin Events, the organizer of the PSA Women's World Championship. How has the tournament been so far? Uh, I would like to think uh, it's been running well. Uh, we haven't received uh, any complaints from the players. <laughs> We've received um, good comments. So uh, in terms of organization, I think everything's up to mark. Um, it's, I, th I think from um, an events organizer perspective, Having, a, having events in Malaysia is, is quite important because we have to show that you know, Malaysia is very capable of having a, a big international event. So hopefully everything's good. Yeah. Now, having been involved in the world of sports and now organizing sports for the past few years, how have you seen squash develop uh, in the recent years in Malaysia? Mm, I mean, squash has always been a, a very well-known sport. I think you know, we've always excelled and we've always done very well in squash. I, I think it's now just making sure that we've got great junior development programs coming through. We have enough events in the country as well, so local players can um, can win some events. So um, in that aspect, is, is, is good. You know, I, I really believe the sport has grown, but it's a um, it's crucial couple of years. I think this event was quite important to have it, have it here as well. Now, of course, yourself being a former player, so I hear, that passion that you have for squash, uh, how does it translate into the events you organize? I'm sure you have different ideas on how squash yeah. can develop. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I've played squash my whole life. I got to 10 in the world. Um, you know, I've, a lot of people don't really realize I've been organizing like a local circuit around the country, professional circuit. It's been running for four years now. Um, it's mainly catered for the junior development, you know, for the juniors who are transitioning into seniors. So that was my bread and butter, basically. You know, we have these circuits all around the country, and, and I think our juniors have benefited from, from it a lot, and, and they get to earn some money at home. But in terms of this event, um, as a player, I was very, um, I was very uh, meticulous in my preparation, and I was very meticulous on the things that I needed to do. So I applied that here. You know, um, the first things I made sure that when the players got in from the airport, they didn't have to line up in an immigration queue. So that was one of my first like to-do list things, you know, for the players. So at least, yeah, exactly, world-class treatment. They are the best players in the world. Yeah. You know, it gets done for tennis, it gets done for other big sports, so why not squash? So that was a great thing, you know, thanks to our sponsors, NASA, um, Citroen and Peugeot. They, you know, they provide transport cars. All the players get picked up. And uh, Lee Meridian has been really great. No check-ins, no put in credit card, let's just wait, you know. They just went in, gave the room key, and they just went up. So those were the key things, you know. We've got a nice players lounge at the back uh, because, again, in between events and in between matches, you've got nowhere to relax but the hotel room. So it's quite unsettling mm -hmm. if you're a good 30 minutes away uh, and in case there's traffic jams. So we decided to hook up a players lounge here so the players are comfortable all the time. Now, of course, this tournament also features homegrown talents, young yeah. talents. Who would you think is the next star, based on what you've seen so far? Um, we've got a couple of good, good, good players. Uh, unfortunately, they lost out in the early rounds in the quarters. You know, uh, Aifa and Siva, both of them are pretty young. Aifa is uh, f 14, Siva 17. Um, they crashed out in the early rounds. But, you know, having these events at home are for them to see and view as many squash matches and see how, you know, the real top players prepare and get, get, get their matches on, you know. So, um, again, like it's events like this, you know, where you give the players maximum exposure. And the, beauty, the beautiful thing about this is this is where they train, you know, and, uh, and uh, they've, they've been exposed to it. Now, how does international events like these featuring international stars, obviously, players, help with the local Malaysian scene in squash? Um, you know, in the next couple of days, quarterfinal onwards, you know, the, the girls who lose out will come in and do a couple of coaching clinics. You know, we're going to have a, engage a few schools, engage a few um, uh, local associations and stuff like that to just encourage the sport a little bit more. But I think in terms of awareness, I think it's been pretty, it's been pretty good, you know, um, considering that I've had three months to prepare for this event, um, that the press have been really good. You know, um, I think the buzz about the winner winning uh, Citroen DS4 has been... Um, it's been very good exactly. as well. Yeah, it's, it's very big on top of the prize money. Exactly. So it's just nice little touches that um, I thought about. And of course, with the great sponsors on how we, how we get a little bit more awareness um, that this event is happening. We definitely look forward to more squash action. Thank you so much for speaking right. to us, Aslan, on All Sports Asia.